Hey guys, welcome to Earthbeat. Today we are replacing the lenses on the back cover of a Samsung S21 Ultra. The lenses on the back of this device are the only glass that can be broken. As you can see, if the lens is broken, you will not have access to the full capacity of your camera. The broken glasses will make all your pictures blurry and you won't be able to use your camera like you used to. For the back cover removal, I added a link into the description. You will need to remove the back cover of this device in order to replace the lenses. The danger of having the lenses broken is that they can stop your camera stability. And also in the long run, you will have dust and particle of glasses on the sensor of those cameras. Use a metal tool to get rid of the excess broken lens. Check out our teardown video of the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra if you want a comprehensive repair guide on this device. Use a sharp tool to go under the double sided tape and expose the tape when you can use some tweezers to remove the whole broken lens. When you expose the portion of the double sided tape, removing the rest of the glass is pretty easy. Here I'm doing the same thing on the other lens. Here again use a sharp blade to go under the glass and lift the glass upward. If you do it correctly, you should be able to lift the whole broken pieces of glass attached to the tape. Here also it is the same thing. I use the blade to go under the glass and lift the whole assembly together. If you like these repair videos, subscribe to our channel, like this video and leave a comment below. Question: Will you ever try a repair like this? Removing the broken lens on the smaller camera hole is not difficult. It is pretty much the same as the other camera lenses. When you remove all the broken lenses, use something to get rid of the dust and the particle of glasses. This is the kit that I'm going to use to replace the broken lenses. So this is for the three main cameras. This kit comes with the lenses and the double sided tape that you need. Be careful while removing the double sided tape because they give you only the exact number of tape that you need. If you mess it up, there is no replacement if you are going to use everything that they gave you. Remove the other side of the tape and start preparing the lens for installation. You need to install the camera lens with the white dot facing inside and the yellow dot facing you. After installation, apply some light pressure for the tape to stick to the lens and after remove the yellow dot. Use the same caution to remove the other double sided tape and install it inside the camera hole. Here again apply some light pressure around the double sided tape and remove the other side of the tape. It is time to install the second lens. Here again the yellow dot should be facing you. Apply some light pressure for the lens to stick to the back cover. So I had some trouble with the third double sided tip. I used my blade to remove it. It was the only way to safely remove the double sided tip because there is none as a replacement. After you successfully removed it, install the double sided tip inside the lens hole. Apply some light pressure on the double sided tip and start installing the third lens. When you finish installing the lenses, remove all the yellow dots. You can remove the yellow dot like I did using a blade or you can use your fingers. Since the smaller lens is smaller, you need to be more careful because there is a risk to damage the double sided tip or even lose both of them. 
If it gets difficult to lift the double-sided tip with your hands, use a blade to safely lift it. Apply the same principle. Install the double-sided tip. Apply some light pressure. Then start installing the lens. Again here, the yellow dot should face you. So right now we have replaced all the lenses, but the job is not done yet. Samsung made a big move by going plastic and aluminum on the back of this device. I can say 80% of the back cover of this device is made out of plastic and the camera bump is made out of aluminum. The benefits of using aluminum and plastic is that they cannot be broken easily. So if it was a glass back cover, you will go to the repair shop very often like we did on the S20 and the S20 Plus. This change of design is very good but the way they implemented the camera bump and the other side of the back cover is not very good for water resistance. After you added the double sided tape that you need on the back of the back cover, apply some pressure around to make sure that the glue or the tape stick firmly to the back cover. The lenses are not really expensive and the difference in price between the lenses and a new back cover is around $10. But if you choose to go with a new back cover instead of the lenses, there is more job that you have to do in removing the component on the back inside the back cover onto your new back cover. If you choose to replace only the back cover, you need to purchase a double sided tape that you are going to use in order to reseal the back of the device. After you finish applying pressure on the double sided tape, Remove the protective film and start aligning the back cover with the frame of the device. With this huge camera bump, it is a little bit difficult to align perfectly the back cover. So you need to be very careful and make sure that the back cover is perfectly aligned with the frame of the device. If you miss this step, the water resistance on this device will decrease. So here I aligned the back cover with the frame of the device. I took my time to do it. And then when I'm sure that the back cover is perfectly aligned, especially the camera bump, I start to apply some pressure around the back of the device. Around the camera bump is not flat and you need to pay more attention while installing the back cover. When you're done applying pressure, inspect the phone for any kind of elevation and any misalignment. Let's test the camera to make sure that we did a good job. 